Square, put your cards in the box. Thank you. Nine, eight, three, all clubs. Wow. Top two pair for Jeff Gross. Ola flops the nuts. Check. Checks around to him with the ace queen of clubs. Jeff Gross will be in a little bit of trouble here. 65k on the on the flop. It's a mistake. You can. It's okay. Knock that one. Tally <laughs> that one up. Jeff check calls the 65k bet on the flop. Turn is the five of spades. Check. Jeff checks again. 320K in the pot. Shemion bets 235,000. Setting up perfectly, potentially for a river shove to put Jeff to the test for all his chips. For sure, unless Jeff feels like he needs to protect his top two and get here. get it in now. Five. He will call. 790k now in the pot. Rivers the six of spades. And that card's just unlikely to help Jeff fold. Ola raised under the gun one, doesn't have a ton of sevens in his range, except maybe pocket sevens. Jeff may feel that his hand's more likely one big club. He's got all the ace-king, all the ace-queen combos. Here comes all of it. All the over pairs that contain a club. Jeff Gross in a tricky spot here with top two pair. This is a very tough decision against such a competent player that can have a very wide range of bluffs here too. Here's the time extension. Might burn through a couple of these. I just had a baby. I don't think he's bluffing me. That's the problem. Don't you bluff the guy more who has new financial responsibility on his hands? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> How much is the show? How much is the I think show Jeff's more thinking, oh, it's such a nice five. guy. How could he bluff me out of this one? And I just had a baby. Do you think that there are any shoves for value that Ola would make that Jeff beats? Do oh, you think the, ace, question. the aces or kings like aces? with a club? is gonna shove here, or do you think that they just get to show down? Oh, I don't know, that's a that's great question. That's what I'm wondering. That's what Jeff has to be thinking too. You're obviously being his bluffs. I think they probably bluffs. check it. I think Jeff Gross, correct me if I'm wrong, is regarded as being a little on the a tighter tight. side. Yes, yeah, so you think that it, aces or kings would just... It's 118 to one to flop I just can't flush. imagine myself checking back aces with aces right. here. <laughs> But I also might just be donating a bunch of chips <laughs> to Jeff Gross in this spot. 
that's something you always have to consider, not just are you bluff catching, but does your opponent actually have some value hands in their that mind you that you're beating? Mean. But I think with Jeff being in the big blind that his hand <laughs> can very often contain exactly what he has to pair. Five. Another time extension. Looks like it's his last. Jeff also can have a seven in his range that Ola would be worried mm -hmm. about if he only had aces or kings. <laughs> looks like oh. he, he's do going it. to call, and he does. He will see the Stone Cold Nuts show down the top two pair. And that'll do it for Jeff Gross. Can come back and try again tomorrow.